This is Juan Brown with a quick, brief, rough update on what we know so far about the devastating campfire that exploded today in Northern California. I got some pictures of, uh, to share with you. Um, I'll show you roughly on a map what we're looking at. And um, I was up in the area just two days ago on the CB500X. I have some footage I can share with you, show you what the train's like. Check it out. Not good situation. First, we'll start with a view from the MODIS satellite pictures taken from earlier today. This was this fire started very early this morning, uh, 8 November, in the Feather River Canyon, and was driven by winds, a north wind event, winds out of the north and northeast, with the vent Feather River Canyon acting as a very powerful venturi, reporting wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour. The winds are supposed to be dying off this evening. This is my own rough draft map as in day one of these emergencies, the GIS folks simply do not have time to create maps. This fire started this morning near the intersection of Camp Creek Road, thus the name Campfire, and Highway 70 at the bottom of the Feather River Canyon. It then quickly raced up 2,000 feet in elevation to the edge of the canyon, topped the canyon, and raced eight to 10 miles towards the town of Paradise and Megalia, jumping the West Fork of the Feather River and the Concow Creek. This fire exploded to 18,000 acres in eight hours today, driven by the winds, with rates of spread as high as 60 acres per minute. The town of Paradise has a population of 26,000 folks, Evacuations were ordered, but this came up so suddenly and quickly, it's too early to tell how successful the evacuations were. And now as of 8 p.m. tonight, local time, evacuations are being ordered all the way down to the Chico city limits. I was just up in the area two days ago, camping out in the Three Lakes area behind Bucks Lake. So this is on the Feather River Canyon on the east side, the opposite side of the Feather River Canyon with the Feather River looking down to the right. You can get an idea here of the steepness of the train coming out of the Feather River Canyon. And you can also get an idea of the timber and brush situation at this elevation, which is about 6,000 foot elevation. So this is a little higher and farther upstream than the than the actual fire event. Here we'll take a st stop and look over the edge and show you just how deep 2,000 feet down, or more in this particular case, down to the Feather River below. Feather River Canyon all lit up. So in this situation, the fire would have started a little downstream of our position and taken off away from the camera. Up the opposite side of the canyon. Of course, all of this is in the Oroville Reservoir watershed, and once again, Butte County has been declared a state of emergency. Fixed wing air tankers, unfortunately, have been largely ineffective due to the high winds. It's just simply too unsafe to operate. There have been some helicopter operations. I understand the 747 is been recalled. They've got their crew back together, and we may see them on the campfire starting tomorrow. Of course, there's 0% containment at this time. There is not much fire fighting going on as much as there is life-saving and evacuation operations going on all day today. The campfire, keep you updated. See you here.